Apple! It's me! I love you! I love to hate you. <sighs> I've got disappointments for you guys. If you came here today for good news, and you came here today for information of excitement and unboxing, or anything fun. But that's not why we're here today. We're here to talk about this guy. That's right. My new 2018 i9 MacBook Pro. Hey guys, Aaron here for the love of tech and thanks for coming and checking out this video. This video is a little contradictory to the previous video I put out with all of my i9 MacBook Pro 2 terabyte goodness. It's a little bit different. And the reason it's different is I have been able to use the device. I've been able to put it into what I call real life experiences. This is how it all starts. Friday night, I'm at home, on the computer, I'm doing stuff, I'm playing videos, and I hear this horrible crackling noise coming from my speakers. And I'm thinking, what's that noise? I look around me, I'm hearing this crack. It sounds like it's coming from behind me is what it is. I look around, I don't see it. It's weird, I call for my dog, and I turn the volume off. And I'm like, well, that's weird crackling so I turn it back up it's still there so I put my headphones on because I want to finish watching what I'm watching and I'm finishing up watching the video I'm watching I close this app I'm like well maybe this app was affecting my sound I'm hopeful because this is a brand new $5,400 machine with Apple Care $5,400 I go about my business go to sleep because it's late at night you know how we do it we're up late the next day it happens to me again so I'm on the internet as I am and I'm checking out my buddy Brandon's video. Link in the description. And he talks about how several users of the new 2018 MacBook Pro are experiencing a crackling noise in their speakers. And I'm thinking to myself, there's no way. But there's a large group of people that are pointing out that their speakers are crackling. just bought it it is fifty four hundred dollars with apple care there's no way that it, it's doing this i can't put it in my lap because it burns my legs i can't use it while i'm making a video because if the fan kicks on it's so loud even you can hear it so what do i do what do you do when you have a problem with apple you call up your apple care i'll tell you Apple support three messages, three times, three chats, and two phone calls to Apple. Nice chatting with you, that's what they said. Nice chatting with you. Here's the transcript. Alex, thanks for contacting Apple. How can I help you? Aaron, I'm okay. He says, what's going on today? My new MacBook is having speaker issues. The speakers are crackling. He goes on to say, oh, I can imagine how upset you are by this. Oh, we're gonna make it all better because we love you. And I said, it's horrible, especially for what I paid for it. He says, I'm logging this for you under this case number. That's so awesome, Al, you're, you're the best. He says, okay, we'll get it fixed. He goes on to tell me I have to reset my MB RAM, which is non-viatile RAM access memory. I'm like, I'm hip, okay, how do I do that? Boop, boop, boop. Boom, as I'm doing it, next thing I know, I'm connecting to the internet. I'm entering into internet recovery mode. It's gonna take four hours. And I'm like, whoa, this is not what I signed up for. I just want to, uh, uh, this isn't what I wanted. By this time, Alex is gone. So I gotta call back in again. And I talk to somebody and we go through the whole thing. And he can't tell me whether or not it's okay to exit internet recovery mode or not. And I'm thinking to myself, if I just unplug this machine from the internet, cause it's not on Wi-Fi, it's hardwired, what's it gonna do? Well, he couldn't tell me that. So I just unplugged it. I troubleshooted it on my own. So. I call in and I said, this is what I want. So they get me to another guy. We can't help you out. Okay, no one can help me out. Then they have someone call me because Apple Care does that. They have people call you. He says, how can I help you? I said, you can take this MacBook Pro back and give me a new one because that's what I want. Because this one's doo-doo. 
all these issues. I want a new one. And he says, we can't do that. Nobody can. You can send it in and get it fixed. I said, if I send it in, I'm taking it in and I want a refund. He says, that's fine, sir. Go get your refund. Okay, I'll go get my refund. And my little chat box. I want a refund. I don't need it. I have a perfectly good 2016 MacBook Pro. I'll go back to slumming it with the i7 and one terabyte hard drive if I have to, but I'm not going to accept this computer as acceptable. It was over $5,000 with Apple Care. Take it back. I want a refund. Give me my money. And you know what the man says to me after three separate people told me I can't get a new one? The man says, Well, sir, sir, will you let me send you a new one? Please let me send you a new one. Maybe you'll have a better experience with this one. <sighs> By this time, I was like, I can't believe it. Now, when I'm at the breaking point, take it back. I don't want it. He's offering to send me a new one. And I said all of that to say this. You don't get a pass Apple because this is the first generation of this version of MacBook Pro. No, 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 no. You've been making MacBook Pros for some time now. This is not a new product. This is a product that has been around a long time. If you want to bump up the specs, and charge me for it, you better come prepared to deliver a proper device that works. When I listen to the speakers, it shouldn't crackle. When the fan starts spinning, I shouldn't be able to hear it through the door across the room out the hallway. You shouldn't be able to hear it in my videos. That's re ridiculous. Listen to your customers. The man tells me we have had an overwhelming amount of people calling with the same very issue and we don't know how to fix it. I'm thinking to myself, you've got my money. What do you mean you don't know how to fix it? I don't understand this. I'm a customer, I got the iPhone, several iPads, my whole office is on iMacs, I've got MacBook Pros, I don't understand. It doesn't matter how loyal or how repetitive I am with my purchases and my brand loyalty. It means nothing to no one. My buddy Travis P brought that up in the clip he sent in the other day. What does it matter? The bandwagon is whatever bandwagon best suits you right now. That's it. It shouldn't be so hard. Two hours of my life, I went through doing this this morning, and that's my issue. It shouldn't take this long and this hard work in order to get a company to stand up and do the right thing. They should be able to do it because it's the right thing. Why does Apple hate me? Oh man, the MacBook Pros that just came out just can't get a break. Remember the whole thermal throttling thing that Dave2D or Dave Lee pointed out? out? What is it, you ask? Apple addressed that part, but there's a large group of people that are pointing out that their speakers are crackling. On a machine that can cost thousands and thousands of dollars, it shouldn't crackle. Like they pulled Pixel 2 XL. And those with the issue haven't quite figured out if it's a hardware or a software issue yet. So.